I wanted to jump on here and talk about one of the key differences that I see between the people that are able to manifest their specific person relationships from that very first movement with their person and the ones that stay stuck in their current reality of wanting that movement. Because I got a message from one of the beautiful ladies inside the specific person accelerator and she had seen movement with her specific person when they had been in no contact for three plus months and now suddenly she saw movement and she didn't feel like it was big enough. And I of course invited her to share it inside the community so that everybody could celebrate with her and her response was, I just still don't feel like it's a real success. Yes, there is some movement, but I want him to call me and ask to see me. And it really hit me because this is one of the key differences I see between the ones that not only see a little bit of movement, but that movement builds up and builds up and builds up until there's the snowball effect and suddenly they have so much momentum that they get the relationship. The ones that might see a little bit of movement here and there and then it just dies off and it doesn't lead them to that happily ever after relationship that they actually desire with that person. Between the ones that just stay stuck in the waiting energy, they're kind of like waiting for the movement and the movement never happens and they just keep themselves stuck in their current reality of not having what they want. It's really because they don't allow themselves to celebrate these small wins, these small successes, this small movement, like no matter how small it is. They don't allow themselves to feel good and feel proud of themselves that they even came this far. Their ego might just want something more. It's like, no, this is not enough. When this thing happens, then I'm going to celebrate. No, this thing that I got now is not enough. When that thing happens, then I'm going to feel good. Then I'm going to share it with everybody. And guess what? That thing that they're waiting for is never going to happen. When we discard the small movement, we're not going to get the bigger movement. But when we celebrate the small movement, like it matters, like, oh my God, this shit happened. Like, I cannot believe it. I'm this powerful. I actually created this movement. I'm on the right track things are working out for me, I'm getting what I want with my specific person. Well, guess what? That's when you're going to see more and more and more movement because now you're focused on the movement and now you appreciate the movement. This is something that the ego mind does because it discards all of the small movement. In our mind, we're thinking what movement is right. And then we're just secretly waiting for that movement. We're like, okay, if my specific person came knocking at my door right now, begging for me to take them back, apologizing for all of the things that they did, that would be movement. But if my specific person suddenly unblocked me after having me blocked for three plus months or suddenly reached out or started liking my posts on social media, that's not movement. Because I can promise you that the people that are able to manifest big things in life and they're just manifesting and manifesting and manifesting and it looks like they're the lucky ones and things just flow into their lives, they are appreciating, they are doing their happy dance, they're fucking celebrating the shit out of those small things that they got first and now that's why they get those bigger things to be happy about, to celebrate, to feel appreciation for and those are the things that you see but before those big things I promise you that they were celebrating and doing the exact same happy dance for the smaller things that you discard. I'm here telling you that the reason for why you don't see that massive movement with your specific person that you're actually looking for is because you haven't allowed yourself to feel good, to celebrate those small wins, those small successes, those small stepping stones along your journey. Because I promise you that if you open your eyes and if you start having more awareness, you will notice that there has been so many stepping stones like on a daily, on a weekly, on an even monthly basis that your mind has just discarded. As you know, whatever you focus on grows. So when you start noticing this, when you start celebrating them, when you start appreciating them, you're going to get more of it. You're going to get more of the things to celebrate. You're going to get more of the things to appreciate. You're going to get so much more to feel good about.